Hi, this is General Tao with a nice, fun little tutorial for how to run a, a VM that is basically Android on your PC and play video games from it. Always a fun little thing to do. Seeing as how, well, I mean, that's mostly what I use my phone for anyway. Just playing video games, and I'd much rather have a nice, comfy chair and unlimited power supply as opposed to having to get up every 20 minutes or so and have to charge the damn thing. Anyway, to start this off, you're going to need VirtualBox. What's VirtualBox? Well, it's just a little freeware, VMware copy, basically. You can use VMware Workstation. I also have that on here, but for ease of use, just go with VirtualBox, seeing as how we're going to be using BuildDroid right here. What's BuildDroid? Basically, it's a pre-compiled version of Android that works very well with VirtualBox. Anyway, to start this off, you need to get these two programs here. Um, don't worry, that's why I got this thing right here. As you can see, it's VirtualBox and um, the Android DevBridge, which I'll get into that later. Start things off to make sure this is working. Run this right here. It'll just automatically load into um, Oracle VM VirtualBox, so don't worry about that. You know, obviously, you need to hit board, but I've already got there, so I don't need to. Start off, I had a little bit of problems when I was first running it, namely it would crash and say like box zero isn't there. To fix that, I this was originally set to not attached. I set to host only adapter and it ran perfectly from there on. So that should work for you if it if you get the same error. Either way, start it up. You know, it shows you a little splash screen, all this standard stuff really. You'll notice it says right control. It'll give you a whole bunch of little dialog boxes first time you run it. Read all of them. They're very important. Start it off, goes through the Android splash screen, get this nice little interface as soon as this pops up, and it's all just nice. Yep, it's nice colors. Doop. Now normally when you sign this thing on, you're just gonna get this. Nice blank screen, no fun apps. None of the cool stuff you can do with this. And you know, I like cool stuff. So to start this off, you want to run this right here. What's this right here? Well, this basically is going to tell you the IP this is assigned to. Take note of it. 56.101 for me is going to be different for you, of course. But that, that program right there is very easy to find right there. And I'll just show you. I've got Dungeon Village and Game Dev Story installed right now. This Last time I tried running this, it didn't work. But usually, yeah, it, it worked the first time I installed it. Let me just check right here. Okay, that one still works. I don't, I don't even get that. Okay, either way. It's not important. I'll, I'll fix that later. Alright, now you've got the IP for that. So what you want to do is open up a command box. If you don't know how to do that, Windows key plus R. It'll give you this little run box here. Type in this command right here. Basically, it's just going to give you a permanent command box, which is uh, right here. I've already got ADB loaded in this. Once you get this in there, you can just type in ADB, which will give you a list of commands, about 10 miles long, but you won't need most of them. Major ones we're going to need, ADB connect to the IP, by the way, that you uh, were supposed to be paying attention to. For me, 192.168.56.101, connect. And I screwed up. Amazing work. Okay, it's already connected to it, so no big deal. We're fine. Now we got that, we want to type in ADB push, then the um, program you want to push, um, APK, and then destination. Type in enter. I'm actually not even sure if this will work though, because I did close it, probably should have kept it open, but normally it does work, that's why you have this right here. So if it doesn't work, it's just because I don't have it open right now. Not a big deal, it'll work for you, don't worry. Anyway, all these programs right here, yep, because it's not, it's only doing that because I closed the VMware, you need to have it open, that was kind of dumb of me. Either way, I got all these things right here, little games I can just install using the push command onto the SD card. Speaking of which, I guess I should show how to do that. After you push it on there, there's another program on Android called Astro File Manager. It comes default on this particular emulated version of Android, but on a normal Android tablet or phone, you usually need to find it on the App Store and install it. It's a free app. You can do that. If you want to actually 
install games from your own Google Play account, you need to push um, this other program you can get here on the um, Buildroid dev site. Just Buildroid gapps, etc., etc. Basically, you do the same thing as if you were running and installing these. Okay. What you want to do? Go to File Manager. Type the thing you want to install. Hit Install. And well, you install it. It should it'll default to your SD card, so don't worry. Let's see if this works now that I just installed it. No, it doesn't. That's very strange how it worked the first time I ran this, but not subsequent times. Okay, either way, no big deal. I'll figure that one out. That is how you install and play Android games on your PC. Hope it was useful for you.